my name is Sergey. I work at Meta on PyTorch developer experience. And today I want to talk about TorchFix. TorchFix is a new tool we created recently to help PyTorch users to maintain healthy code bases and follow best practices for PyTorch. So first, I want to show you several examples of uh, the problems we are trying to solve. So in this first example, uh, an API, PyTorch API to compute Shalesky decomposition was recently changed. So the function was moved from Torch Shalesky to Torch Linux Shalesky, and also parameters were changed. So in the old API, you can provide upper equals true parameter. But in the new API, you just compute a joint, a joint instead. So we want to update our code to use this new API. But doing this manually is extremely tedious. Another example. So sometimes you don't want to compute gradients for your parameters, uh, usually for performance reasons. and to tell PyTorch that you don't need gradients, you just set requires great attribute to false. Unfortunately, often people type require gradient, require grad false. And because it's Python, the attribute gets dynamically created and there is no error. And your program continues to work, but it doesn't do what it expected to do, and this can lead to performance degradation. And this is actually hard to notice. And eventually this exact issue was found in multiple popular large open source repos. Another problem about data loader. So if you don't provide the num workers parameter for the data loader, the default is zero. And that means that the data loading happens in the same process as the computation, synchronously. Synchronously. So this means that data loading can potentially block computation. So for efficiency reasons, in production, you want to provide num workers parameter and set it to something greater than zero. And the exact number depends probably on number of CPUs you have or something like that. But this issue is not necessarily an error. Depending on your goals and how you run your code, the default zero may be perfectly valid. But we still want to be able to flag this to the user so the user can inspect and understand if it's an actual issue or not for them. And this example is not about core PyTorch. It's about a popular domain library, TorchVision. And in TorchVision recently, the API for loading pre-trained pre -trained weights was changed. So previously, you provide a Boolean, pre-trained equals true or equals false. But with the new API, you provide weights parameter and specify exactly which weights you want to load. This new API is much more flexible, and we want to update our code to use it. Actually, we want to update all code in the world to use this new API, because after that, TorchVision can drop completely support for the old API. And uh, again, it's extremely tedious to do this by hand, especially taking into account that TorchVision doesn't have one model. TorchVision has many models with many weights, and this API change applies to all of them. So this is a solution for all these problems. Uh, it's TorchFix. TorchFix is a static analysis tool specialized for PyTorch. TorchFix uses libcst, and libcst is a popular library to work with Python syntax trees. libcst allows TorchFix to load Python code, get the syntax tree, update the syntax tree, and then write back the modified code. 
And how to run TorchFig, there are two modes. One mod is a Flakeate plugin, and another one is standalone. So in the Flake 8 plugin mode, you just install TorchFix and then basically use Flake 8 normally. This mod is very convenient if you already use Flake 8 in your project. So if you have Flake 8 running in your CI, you just install TorchFix and specify additional uh, warnings you want to handle. But in this mode, there is no auto fixes, only linting, only errors. And another mode is standalone. You run torch fix as a script, and you can provide dash dash fix argument to auto fix things that are auto fixable. And the latest uh, line on this slide shows that not all the rules are enabled by default. This is because some rules are a bit too noisy to be enabled by default. S to see all the rules, all the results from all the rules, you provide select equal, equals all parameter. And how to get TorchFix? Uh, pretty easy to get the latest from PyPy. You just pip install TorchFix. And if you want the latest code that is on GitHub, you just download or clone GitHub repo and do pip install there. So what is the current stage? So I'd say it's an early beta, but it's already useful. TorchFix already has the rules to find and fix all the examples I mentioned before, and much more. And it was already used to find issues and update code in multiple projects internally at Meta and also in open source. And it has and it has been running in CIs on several Meta open source projects on GitHub, on every commit. In the future, we want to add more rules for more classes of issues. And this work will be guided by actual issues we find in real code bases. Also, we want to add more configuration options. For example, right now, TorchFix assumes you want to use the latest version of PyTorch. And this is not necessarily the case. Another direction we want to integrate with PyTorch CI and documentation generation for PyTorch. So for example, when you deprecate a function in PyTorch, we want to be able to check that at that point there is exists a rule for TorchFix to actually flag and update that deprecated function to the new variant. And of course, we want to see TorchFix used in CIs of more projects. Hopefully, this will happen organically as people try TorchFix and find it useful. And how to get involved with it? So first of all, just run it. Try to run it on your code base and see if it finds any issues or you can find some issues with TorchFix itself. And after that, you can go to the GitHub page and report a bug, request feature, or do a code contribution. It's all very welcome. And if you want to do some coding for TorchFix and don't know where to start exactly, we already have a couple of uh, good first issues open. So that's it. That's all I have. Thank you.